Hey everyone, it's Isaac, and today we're going to look at installing only Office, previously known as Team Lab. Um, now today we're going to go ahead and set it up on an Ubuntu 14.4 server. Um, I'm still working on getting it running under CentOS. Alright, let's go ahead and make sure that we are up to date. sudo apt-get update. Put in our password. And then we're going to need to do sudo apt-get upgrade. Yes. Alright, now that we're all up to date, let's go ahead and store, install uh, Nginx. And also install mono. Oops. There's all kinds of stuff wrong with that. And again, I cannot spell. Whoa. -hoo. Okay, now we need to go ahead and install MySQL. Server, lib Apache 2 mod off MySQL, PHP 5 MySQL. Yes. And put in a password for your root MySQL user. Repeat it. Okay, and now we need to go ahead and W get the repo okay and sudo apt oops apt key add only office dot key okay we're gonna go ahead and edit our sources list We're just going to go ahead and put this down at the bottom, and we need it to be deb, http, download only office, it'll all be in the description, and save it, ho oh, ho, permission denied. get update and sudo apt get install only office okay only office yes SQL root password there, so it can go ahead and build the tables and the databases. I will note, you see here it says add user, warning, home directory, etc, etc. If you've already created a user called only office, it will break right there. Uh, and you'll have to go in and delete the user and let it create it. 
Uh, that's why I went with just a generic user here. Okay, that should be it. Okay, so we went to the browser and we just went to what we set our IP address to and it starts up the wizard. Uh, it's surprising to me that this worked. Uh, the last few times I've installed it I've had to basically manually toggle the wizard. It keeps going to the, uh, the Nginx welcome screen. Well, let's go ahead and put in a generic password here. You want to use something a little more secure and we'll just put in my email address here. Jeez, where do I live? Eastern time zone. Okay, and that's it, there you go. And you can just go in and start creating users and projects and anything else. Thanks for watching, see you next time.